Yeah. So we have a metric on our like an index on the Vexel.foundation about the, the financial tyranny index. And so we've kind of looked at like the countries and kind of ranked them under what's going on. So you can see like the CBD status in the country, the legal legality side of the cash daily transaction limits, which these are changing, you know, being updated. Uh, and it's a, it's a really good metric. So if you look at something like Spain, um, Spain's 20 on the list. Um, that good or that bad? <laughs> I mean, it's pretty bad. I mean, it, like okay. these are all just, this is the current state. So if we look at Spain, um, you're doing Ooh. research. Cryptocurrency is permissive. Your cash transaction limit is 1000 euros. Your money grow supply <laughs> is okay. Slightly better than the people around you. Um, social security is high. Personal income tax is really high. So you have a 40 oh, yeah. 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 here. But actually, the funny thing with Spain is that uh, the personal income tax, first of all, I think you took the top, uh, top, uh, how is it called, the uh, tranche, you know, like the highest level. But the worst part is that uh, you shouldn't look at the top one, you should look at the bottom one. So the first tax, how is it, bracket, tax bracket. Yeah. And the funny part about it is I think in Spain, officially, it's only like, 12 percent or 17 percent something kind of low kind of low you think oh great so if you're making less than eighteen thousand dollars you only pay like 12 percent or 17 percent but the reality is when you do when you actually do the economic calculation of the entire cost of the of the employee to the um, uh, business versus how much he gets that's the effective tax, right? The gross income, not just what the government says your gross income is, but like what you see plus any extra costs relating to the government, like taxes or social security that your employer has to pay behind your back, so to speak, on their end. When you add that up from the beginning and someone making minimum wage is already at a 41% uh, tax, uh, ta like, they're being taxed 41% of their income, meaning out of the 100% that the employer pays in total, like the entire cost of the employee, of the worker, he only gets, like the worker only gets like 60% or less. Uh, it's, uh, it's terrible. But of course, people only see, because this part here is hidden, they think, oh, it's only 17%. So I'm telling you, Spain should be higher. 